Hey guys, this is Sorted. In this video I'm going to review the McAllister cordless 18 volt hedge trimmer that I bought about three months ago. I bought this particular hedge trimmer from B&Q and the make and model of this McAllister hedge trimmer is McAllister MHT1855-LI. It's an 18 volt lithium battery and it's been used maybe two times already. For the battery, this is the 18 volt battery, so it comes with a, the 18 volt M Solo lithium system, which means one battery for many other tools. Um, green flashing means it's charging. So um, let's go through some of the features. So it comes with a, the normal cover. So I'm gonna put a bit of WD-40 because I've used it a few times. You can see the blade is a little bit, it's not rusty, but it could be cleaned and it maybe needs a little bit of uh, oil. Then to oil the blades, just simply get a bit of WD-40 and... All right. Um, so, it's fairly easy to use. You're just going to use this trigger here and that trigger will only work when this handle here is pulled. So when you're holding it, the natural position is that it's going to be on. What I don't like about this is if you ask your your wife or your children to pass it to you and the battery's in, they'll naturally turn it on. So there should be an even a safety, I think there should be a safety switch where when this has been held and this has been held, but you can maybe a, a thumb thing here where you can turn it off or lock it because you could accidentally turn it on when you're not, uh, expecting to. It's now fully charged. You can see that the green light's not flashing. Uh, to remove the battery all you do is, I'm just going to put this here and you'll see me removing the battery. It's very easy. So you just uh, pull this pull this trigger at the back and slide it backwards and it comes out. Um, so the charger seems quite robust, the battery seems quite robust, the plastic doesn't feel too flimsy. Uh, from empty it probably takes about an hour to charge up, mine wasn't fully empty. Yeah, you can see how the battery is fully charged by pressing this little battery gauge. So here you can see it's fully charged. And then you just slide it into the battery receptacle. Now what I don't like about this is, once it's in the receptacle, you actually can't see how how much battery life is in the thing. So I know in the Milwaukee and on other tools, it's sometimes on the back here and you can just press it and you can see how much charge is left in the battery. But in this one, you actually have to take the battery out by pulling this, by pressing this button and pulling it out of the clip. And then you can press the, the battery charge there. So not ideal. I prefer when you can actually check the status of your battery without removing from the from the device for the tool. Okay, so you just you just pull these two buttons. You can pull it at the top or you can pull it at the side. And uh, let's um, do some hitch trimming and see how we get on. I'm just going to pause this here. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that we're going to be cutting. Don't know if you can see that on the on the camera. If there's enough, uh, but lots of these brambles are sticking out, and they kind of make it awkward when you're riding on the lawnmower. Uh, you know, they might cut the wheels. So we need to trim them back and uh, just get them back a bit more flush. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to my cameraman, Mr. Calvin. Work of these brambles by George. Okay, so now it's got caught on the um, on the fence and it cuts out, but it's okay. Life goes on. Yeah. 
you definitely get a cramp in your hand from pulling these two handles at the same time. But I think they're all like that. But it doesn't feel super comfortable. It feels like maybe if there was something with your thumb, it might be a little bit easier, like as you press that down and pull it up. But constantly having your hand grasped like that, turn it on, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Gets caught again, a couple of big branches. Definitely get a, clamp in, a cramp in your hand, it's quite sore. So I'm pulling that with a lot of, uh, not a lot of force, but you know, you kind of have to keep in that position for a very long time and it's quite sore in your hand. Seems a little bit underpowered to be honest. Doesn't seem like it's very powerful. Feels like it's kind of struggling on some of those picker branches. So here are these big brambles, quite long, sticking out from the fence. To catch you when you're going right round in the lawnmower. Okay, it gets caught on big branches. Okay, so that's everything I need to do. Let's check the battery and see how much charge is left after on the on the battery. Okay, it's still showing us fully charged, so that's not bad. There's about 20, 20 minutes work there of constant use. And uh, it did the job. It cut down those big brambles. Uh, struggles on some thick branches. It gets blocked a little bit. A little bit of an uncomfortable, I'm gonna put that battery back in. A little bit of an uncomfortable handle where you have to keep pulling the trigger as opposed to using a thumb. It might be a little bit easier. You just have to press the thumb. And, and use the safety there, but holding two of them at the same time is a bit tiring. Um, would I recommend this MHT1855 um, lithium head trimmer? I'd recommend it for home use, but I don't think I'd recommend it for uh, commercial. Seems a little bit underpowered, um, but it does the job. Uh, the eight, the whole, it seems to hold the battery charge quite well. Okay. So that is my review of the McAllister 18 volt cordless hedge trimmer sorted. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as that way YouTube are likely to recommend the video to other viewers who might be interested in this sort of content. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you got a McAllister? Or what brand would you recommend for the home DIYer? or even if you run a garden maintenance business, let us know what brands you would recommend as a commercial hedge trimmer. Okay guys, I'll leave it there. Don't forget to subscribe as I'll be posting more videos over the coming weeks. Until then, catch you in the next one.